Cops are searching today for the driver who helped bachelor Chris Souls flee the scene of that fatal hit and run. One of the subjects that was involved just took off northbound in a red Duramax truck. Witnesses told police Souls was picked up in a red Chevy Duramax truck just like this one and cops actually gave chase. See if they can get them stopped. Can I get through if I try to go intercept? It was 8.30 p.m. Souls was driven straight to his family's farm in the red truck. And when Iowa cops got there, he refused to come out, says Sheriff Bill Wolfsgram. He basically wouldn't come to the door. How did you find out that Chris Souls was at his mother's house? Back when he was in The Bachelor, they did a lot of filming up in that area, so the sheriff's office went and looked uh, where he might be at, and then he was located. Why did he not answer the door? Do you think it's because he had been drinking and was waiting to sort of, you know, make sure the alcohol was out of his system? That's still part of our continuing investigation, so I can't comment. Five hours later, at 1.30 a.m., the deputies obtained an arrest warrant, and Souls was at last taken into custody. Now, cops want to know if Souls was distracted when the accident took place that ended in the death of farmer Kenny Mosher. I rear into a, a guy in a tractor. Police have seized the bachelor's phone and are reportedly looking at his social media activity. He's known for posting pictures of country roads at sunset, the approximate time of the accident. Souls has released a new statement saying, my family and I are overwhelmed with this tragedy, but we are sticking together and we'll get through it.